really good. What's up, guys? Jack, Jack Outdoors. And today, I'm going to be showing you how I fertilize, and we're going to show you a full garden update for the pumpkins, the wicking tubs, and all that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up some fertilizer and we're going to fertilize the pumpkin plants. I'll set you up and I'll show you how I mix it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we got our chunks. And I'm going to put the fertilizer in first. So I think what I'll do is this is soluble seaweed. Soluble seaweed. I think I'll fill these two up to sweaty. And this one up to two. So it says one teaspoon per gallon. Try not to get water on you guys. That's how I mix my fertilizer every morning. I'm gonna hold this up to the garden and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so I got my sprayer and last few days it's been clogging up. So I think we're gonna try to fix that. There's a lot of gunk and stuff in there. Oops, sorry. Okay, what I'm doing right now with the sprayer, so we'll fill this up with um, the seaweed and then we'll go under all the leaves and spray under them and on top of them and those leaves will um, drink all that moisture that we spray on top of them. So let's put some fertilizer in there. So what I'll do is I'll, it's at three gallons, so I'll just empty this out to where it's at two gallons. And 
and I'll soil drench with the same stuff. And soil drench, I put it in a little watering can and just, um, you still see a little bit of chunks in there. Should be good. I put it in a little watering can and pour it all over the dirt around it. So I'll just empty this out to two gallons. And then I'll put two gallons on each of the big plants. And then I'll put one gallon on the littler giant pumpkin. And then I'll put half a gallon on each of the watermelon plants. So that's what we'll do. I don't know why this isn't mixing up very good. I shook them all up before I came to the shop. I guess they just need some more. You want to do this before it's 80 degrees out. Okay, let's go get started. I'm gonna do this one first because it's a, a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing because um, it's a lot smaller and it's just easier for you guys to see. So first thing we'll do is I like lifting up the leaves Checking for bugs, checking for squash bug eggs, and then grab your sprayer and spray under that leaf. And spray the top. So check it. And we'll just do that with every leaf. It's getting hot, so I'm trying to hurry. So if you hear that noise throughout the video while we're out here, they're working on a power line over there. They may hear some machinery. Okay, 
that's this plant. I'm not going to bore you guys with an hour of me spraying pumpkin leaves. So, I'm going to, I'm going to spray the other ones. Then I'll show you how I soil drench my pumpkins. Okay. I just got done foliar feeding. Now we're going to soil drench. So what I like to do, this is one of the smaller plants, so it'll take one gallon. So, take our jug. Drench your mat. Drench your mat. I mean your mound. And get behind it too, because those roots are spread out really far. You'll be amazed how far they're spread out. Okay. Well, now you know how to soil drench. On the big plants, I'll put two gallons in this, and I'll put probably a gallon on the mound, and then go with the rest and put it on the side vines. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and I'll get back to you, and we'll do a full garden update. Just got done with my stuff. Sorry for my hair. I've been working real hard and I'm really sweaty. So, I just got done with my stuff, as I said. Um, now we're gonna do a full garden update, starting with the giant watermelons. Here's a watermelon I pollinated with this cell. This plant is from a 341 pound watermelon, so that's the watermelon I think I'm going to take. Over here, this is 316 Edwards, and I don't have a watermelon on it, but... Now, moving on to the pumpkins. Here's one pumpkin plant. As you saw earlier, that's what I fed, and I also fed these guys. So here's 2035 Hayes. As you, if you guys saw my last video, it was actually a live stream, and we had Nicole, a pumpkin. It was sitting right here. Go check that video out. It was a really sad video. Didn't want to call that, but. We got two more going. I'll flip you around and I'll show you um, this one right here. There we go. That's a good one. And then this one right here. And then, I know you all guys, guys have been waiting for it. One, two. Three! Isn't that amazing? Big mama. So I've been taping her every day to see how much she is and 160 inches is when they're 100 pounds and she's at 158 inches so she's doing really good that's my little setup I 
pull it down so she doesn't get any sun. Can't even see her. Now I have another weak picture with that. I'll show it now. Isn't that amazing, guys? They grow so fast. And I think that one is almost, well, it's only 18 days old, I think, from pollination. So, it's just amazing how fast they grow. And you can see why my hair is crazy now. I'm walking under the shade cloth and just dragging my head on the top. <laughs> So, I'm gonna have crazy hair for a while. There we go, we're out. Now we're gonna look at the raised beds. They're doing pretty good. Here's the tomato one. We've been picking some, some t cherry tomatoes and looks like we have a few aromas ready. We have some beef steak steak in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's one over here that you can see way better. There we go. Right there. I haven't checked for ripe cherries today, so maybe we have one to pick on camera. Just a jungle of cherry tomatoes. Yep. There's two right in a pit. Well, three actually. Yep, that's all. I don't see any aromas ready to pit. Turn around, there's beans. And our corn is getting pretty big. It's getting some corn on it too. Right there. Not ready yet. Our okra we've been harvesting. One thing I love about okra plants is look at those pretty flowers. It aren't those pretty. I don't know if we have any yoke already. Yep, there's one ready to pick. We'll come out here tonight and pick that and we'll have some fried okra from all the rest. There's our jalapenos. I'm just starting to see our first jalapeno. Right there. Ooh, right there. Awesome. Doing good. Here's another look at the corn. Really good. Now, we'll go down to the shop and do a hydroponic update and a wicking tub update. So I'll see you down there. Okay, here are the hydroponics. And as you can see, the, the cucumbers, we've been having this. The cucumber and squash plant, we've been having to fill them up every day. So maybe the five gallon buckets aren't the way to go. This one got a little low. We didn't fill it for a couple of days when we went camping. 
it got low and just passed, so that that one's not doing too good. But this one seems to be pulling through it. And here's some of the cucumbers we've harvested. This one and this one got a little too overripe, but those three are perfect. And you can see cucumbers all throughout there. Here's one that we're going to leave that on there for a couple more days. And the squash, we haven't got any squash off of there. It's just, they're just, once they get bigger, like this big, they just fall off. Here's our okra. It's getting top heavy. I have to come through here all the time and push it back in there. Here's our jalapeno. It just fell over, as you can see. Ah. There, it should stay right there. Cherry tomato. We've got a few tomatoes on there somewhere. Hmm. Where'd they go? I know I saw them yesterday. Just give me a minute. I'll find them. Here's a little, little one. There's a couple. There's one. There's two. And then there's some more on there that are probably hiding. There's our cabbage. It's doing good. It's getting a little head. Our fig tree. Okay, now let's go look at the, um, the wicking tubs and the stuff over there. Here's our carrots. They're doing good. And then... Our tomatoes. I don't know if there's a tomato on here yet, but there's a tomato in one of our competition. Here's another competition. Doesn't have any tomatoes on it yet. Here's another one. That's a sweet pepper. And then, two squash plants, watermelon plant. Now, guys, you're going to be startled when you see this. Look at that beauty. I wonder if Houston has anything that big yet. Hope he does. It's getting big. It's in a wicking tub, too. Some more squash. I've heard that squash flowers are good to eat. We may have to do a little taste test soon on the channel. Let's see if fried squash flowers are good. So, that's all the wicking tubs, I think. Ow, we got stickers. Right in my heel. Okay, here's the watermelon patch and the extra pumpkin patch. That one's back there it seemed to be doing good. This one too. Getting eaten up by we had a pumpkin bloom but it just rotted. That one's doing good. And our watermelons just started to take off. When we have a watermelon on. 
A little sugar baby. Can you see it? It blends in there pretty good. It's right here. It's doing good. So guys, I think that's all I have for you guys today. So, stay tuned for next week. And, well, I don't know if it'll be next week, but it'll be a, one of my next videos in the patch. Um, we're going to show you how to measure the pumpkins and estimate the, the weight of them. And then we'll show you how to bury vines and all that. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you liked the video. Ring that notification bell. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next video.